What's good YouTube, your boy Jay back here with another video and today we're covering another DIY. So, if y'all checked my last video, I did the interior on the BMW, I put the Alcantara in and did the carbon, fi blah, carbon fiber wrap in the interior or uh, center console. And today, I wanna put the cherry on top and do the steering wheel. So, I shopped around for a while and um, the common cost for a steering wheel is like 500 bucks. And I'm not really trying to pay that because y'all know I'm kind of cheap. But uh, the M steering wheel is a damn good steering wheel. Like it's a better steering wheel than it comes in the Corvette. So unless you're not, if you're not going for the flat bottom or the flat top, then I would recommend doing a wrap on your own because you can save yourself a lot of money. Like I'm hoping this will save me like $400 because the wrap itself was 75 plus shipping tax. So we'll just say a hundred bucks. So here's everything that comes in the box. The wrap, the stitching, and the tool to help you push in the wrap inside of the steering wheel, double-sided tape, and a little thimble, and uh, a needle. But I can't sew, I don't sew regularly, so I guess we'll see how this goes. And now that I got this up here, looking at it, I'm thinking I might redo the trim also and wrap it to match the center console of the... Uh... I did not. Yeah, good idea, didn't have time for that. So moving on. So first off, test fit your cover. You want to make sure that it's the correct thickness and that everything lines up properly because I've seen some comments saying that the ones that they got were cheap. So test fit and make sure everything's good. I actually have it on backwards here. So make sure that your flaps are in the front facing you. And after that, you can kind of just use the, the push tool to kind of press stuff in, see how much excess uh, leather you're going to have. But this step is really important getting everything lined up correctly. Once you're sure everything is lined up correctly, you can go ahead and start taping. The kit comes with a lot of double-sided tape, so if you find yourself pulling stuff off and putting it back on, don't worry about it because you got a lot. The tape is best put along the stitching because that's where it's going to be coming apart at and along the flat edges on the handles and in the corners. Keep in mind, it's not glue, so if you don't like your positioning or where your tape is, it will come off. Uh, so don't worry about it. I had to pull it off a few times up top and get the tape closer to the stitching. So once you're satisfied with the tape, you can go ahead and start stitching or preparing to stitch. I did a simple cross stitch method or a double cross stitch method. So whatever length of uh, thread that you measure out, you're just going to double it up, fold it in half and tie the knot on the end. The stitching isn't difficult. As a novice, I was able to do this by myself after she got me started. I will say the only thing you really have to worry about is fraying the threads as you stick the needle through. Occasionally, I would get the, the needle stuck on a thread or I wouldn't get it completely underneath the thread and I would kind of fray it and then I'd be going through a thread instead of underneath the thread and I'd have to pull it out and start that part over. That did get bad for me once and I had to cut the thread and completely start the section over. So be careful about that. Go underneath the thread as best as you can. To hide the knot, stick the needle through the cover before you start stitching and so your knot will be on the other side of the steering wheel cover. Unless you don't mind a visible knot like this one. Just stay persistent, take your time, and uh, it'll get done eventually. This took me about two hours to do the entire thing and I messed up maybe twice. So once the stitching is complete, you can go back over it with your press tool and stick in all the excess cover. This part's pretty simple. It goes into the gaps in the steering wheel pretty easily. Will require some force on the sides and on the back part. But other than that, it's pretty simple. I opted to not cut any of the excess off because I didn't want to inadvertently go over something that I had already stitched and lose tension in the entire stitch. So here's my handiwork. Stitching didn't come out too bad for a first time. Timer. And a little overview of the top and sides. And I say it came out pretty good. Perfect. 
So in the end, this took about four hours. I would definitely say if you don't want a flat bottom, man, do this one yourself. Save yourself some money. All right, so that covers it, man. Uh, I think this came out pretty good. Links are in the description. As usual, thank you guys for watching, and I'm out.